When was the last time your dog chose your foot to sit on instead of any other random area in the house? This is quite weird, but let's be honest here. Almost all of your dog's quirky, amusing, and completely gross behaviors have logical reason. So let's get right to it. What are the 10 most bizarre things your dog does that left you scratching your head and asking, what the heck? 10. Why do dogs lick you every time? Ever wondered why your dog is so keen on licking your hands? That dog will almost surely lick you since he or she has formed a bond with you and feels safe enough to lick you and express their devotion to you. They've got scent receptors in their noses that can pick up the unique scent of each member of their human pack, and licking is their way of bonding. Their reasons for licking you, however, may differ. Sometimes it's because they want to show their love, as this is one of the only ways a dog can physically show affection. Sometimes it's because you taste good, maybe a little sweaty and thus salty, or because you've come into contact with something that tastes good and the dog has sniffed it out and is licking it off your skin. 9. Why do dogs run and sleep? So, if you have a dog, you may have noticed strange behaviors while it is sleeping, such as running. What could be the reasons behind this? First up, the dream theory. Yep, just like us. Dogs might be having some wild dreams of chasing, playing, or even fleeing from imaginary foes. Ever wake them up suddenly? They look a bit lost, like they just left a dream party. Another reason is that dogs may run in their sleep due to instinctual behavior. Dogs are descended from wolves, and running and pursuing were instinctual behaviors that helped wolves survive in the wild. Some experts believe that dogs may run in their sleep to relieve pent-up energy. Dogs may not receive enough exercise during the day, so running when sleeping may be a method for them to release surplus energy. 8. Dogs do sniffing in circles before lying down. Dogs sniff the ground in circles before lying down for a nap because it's like them creating their own comfy bed. Imagine you're picking the perfect spot for a nap. You'd want it just right, wouldn't you? Well, dogs are kind of the same. They're checking out the place, making sure it's safe and comfy. This quirky behavior goes way back to when dogs were wild and had to prepare a snug spot to sleep. By turning in circles and giving the ground a good sniff, they're sort of saying, yep, this feels good. It's a bit like us fluffing our pillows before settling in. So the next time you see your dog doing the pre-nap dance, just know they're ensuring their beauty sleep spot. 7. Why do dogs chase their own tails? Dogs chase their tails for a bunch of reasons, and it's a bit like their own little game. But sometimes, they're just bored or bursting with energy, and tail chasing is their way of having a solo party. Other times, it might be a sign that something's not quite right because maybe their tummy feels a bit off or they've got an itchy spot back there. So like when we scratch an itch, they try to catch it by spinning in circles. Therefore, dogs love the thrill of the chase, even if it's their own tail. If your dog's tail chasing habit is infrequent, playful, and does not interfere with their everyday activities, it may not be cause for alarm. However, if the activity becomes severe, compulsive, or accompanied by symptoms of distress or damage, it is recommended to speak with a veterinarian. 6. Why do dogs chase cars without any reason? Dogs chase cars because they have an innate prey drive. But what exactly is this prey drive? It's an instinctive behavior deeply rooted in carnivores. So they're wired to seek, pursue, capture, and chow down on prey. Shepherd dogs might have a high eye stock component, while those fantastic narcotics dogs excel in the seeking aspect. But let's talk about the greyhounds. They're the chase champions with an off-the-charts chase component. Terriers? Well, they're all about the grab bite. So, whether your pup is chasing balls, squirrels, or cars boils down to their unique mix of these prey drive components. Therefore, understanding these components helps decode why our furry friends can't resist a good chase. 5. Dogs do pawing at water bowls. For lots of our furry friends, just drinking water isn't enough. They've got to paw and splash around first. But why do they do it? Well, water isn't just a must for them, it's also a daily play date. You see, dogs are like water detectives. They know still water can be a bit icky with bacteria, so the pawing is like their way of checking if it's safe. Plus, it stirs things up, making the water way more interesting for a drink. And let's be honest, our dogs are a lot like little humans. Playing with water is always a good time. For dogs, it's not just fun, it's a cool down trick. So the next time you catch your pet making a water mess, remember, it's just their way of having a splashy party. Four. Why do dogs do leg spread? It's like the yoga pose for dogs. We call it frogging. 
Now, for many pet parents, seeing their pup strike this pose can trigger worry about hip dysplasia, especially in bigger breeds. But it's not true. They spread their legs because it's comfortable. Frogging lets them sit and snooze symmetrically like doggy zen. Plus, it's a genius move to control body temperature. This not-so-furry area helps release body heat, either by giving those private spots some air or transferring heat to a cooler floor. Now, the big question, what about those hips? Rather than causing harm, it indicates extraordinarily flexible hip joints, though not necessarily loose or dysplastic hips. However, those hip joints and cartilage require minimum high-impact training, such as repetitive ball chasing or jumping. Three, dogs bark at random objects. Dogs bark at inanimate objects for a variety of reasons, and not simply to confuse us. Most of the time, it is a combination of curiosity and protective instinct. Imagine you have this awesome superhero cape and suddenly a mysterious box appears in your room. You'd probably want to check it out, right? Dogs are a bit like that. They see something new or strange, and their inner detective kicks in. Sometimes it's a way of expressing excitement or playfulness. It's like they're saying, hey, look at this cool thing I found. But let's not forget their keen senses. Dogs have an amazing sense of smell and hearing. So that seemingly ordinary object might have a scent or make a noise that only their superhero senses can detect. Two, why do dogs tilt their head? So you asked your dog if they're up for a park adventure and got that adorable head tilt in return. We all love that curious look, right? Well, there's science behind cuteness. Dogs might tilt their heads to catch sounds better, like trying to understand your words. It's their way of saying, huh, what's that you're saying? They're like active furry detectives, trying to understand the meaning of your conversation. Also, the head tilt indicates that they are paying attention to you. Experts believe it improves dogs' ability to see your face, particularly when expressions or tones change. So the next time your puppy tilts their head, know that they're not confused. They're simply being adorable and soaking in every word of your fascinating conversation. One, dogs start howling. Dogs howl at sirens because they're joining the howl along party. When a dog hears a siren wailing, it's like their musical cue to let loose with their own vocals. This howling habit actually has roots in their wolf ancestry. You see, in the wild, wolves howl to communicate with their pack or to locate each other across vast distances. Back in the day, when dogs lived in the wild, they howled to communicate with their pack. Sirens trigger this ancient instinct. It's their way of saying, Hey, I'm here, and I hear you too. So when the wailing sirens pass by, your pup might think it's another furry friend howling in the distance. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this content enjoyable and crave more entertaining and informative insights about your furry friend, remember to smash that like button and hit the subscribe bell, especially if you're a Labrador aficionado.